The wait is over. You are now watching Be Great Episode 4, The Next Step. Do it, he the best of me yet. Give me time, I'll make you forget the I'm gonna get my first workout in today, Saturday morning. You know, I'm gonna get in here at Bodies of My Mood work facility. I really like working out on my move just because of uh, how he pays attention to detail. Me and him have been working out together for about, about two and a half weeks. You know, and through that time, I've seen a whole bunch of improvement. I've gained weight, got more athletic, I got a lot more flexible. This is just something I'm doing that's trying to, that's going to try to help me get to the next level. I know I need this. this is one of the biggest things, you know, in my career to stay healthy, to get stronger, to get more athletic and all that stuff Being like that. Way back, like right here. There we go. Now go back up. That's it. Very good. Now come on the toes on that one. Go. Two. Nice job. Keep your chin up. That's it. Extend them out. One, very good, excellent. Go, 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 up, pop, two more. Go, 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 up. Want to make sure that he maximizes his power and prevents injury. So all of our trainings is about four or five step ahead of what everybody else doing. I make sure it's in an optimal conditioning, nutrition, enough oxygen to the body, to the brain, to the heart, and also get explosiveness. That's why we use the band. We're doing things that five, seven, ten years down the road was not causing an ankle injury, knee injury, back injury, so you have a solid career wherever it's gonna be at. Five, four, three, two, one. Now get it, five reps, you gotta get it now. Get it, get it. Lower, two, get it. Come on, two more. Up, one more. Up, stop, nice shot, very good, very good. Me and him work right. out about four to five times a week and it's different stuff every day. For one, I like how safe it is with the zometer thing. It makes sure everything's safe, uh, everything's high level. You know, my moves work with the highest, some of the highest level players, high level teams and stuff like that. So it's just for me to be able to train with him is a blessing. It shows the saturation oxygen to the heart and the brain that would be first number and second one would be his heart rate. So right now, he's probably gonna be very level. Should be around 98%. So 98 is very good, and after that hard set, he did 107 is very, very normal. So he's, he's kicking at all levels. So basically, we're bringing the best of the science and the intense training and put it together with the nutrition and give him exactly what he needs to put him in the next level. Coach Reese and one of his friends introduced me to my move. That's how I met my move then. From the first day I talked to him, for his plan for me, what he told me just blew me away. Too. The plan for me, he had he was already studying my game, you know, he watched the videos, he came to some of my games and stuff, and he just knew some of the things that I needed to work on, you know, and right when we met each other, he told me that, those things, and that kind of blew me away, like, you know, this guy, you know, he really wants to help me get better. Go! Now I got five more reps, that's it, get what's yours, don't let him take it away from you, come on, three more, up, up, last one. Good job, very good, awesome, ah. very good. We want to make sure that we're not going to be lifting 500 pounds to impress people and two years down the road find out I damaged his ACL, I damaged his hips, his knees, or his back. We want to make sure everything's scientifically done and if you train properly, you would, could do this for long run, for longevity. So that's very, very important that young guys are either going to the right trainers, they know exactly what they're doing, not because they, they, are, they were bodybuilders or they had a great career as a football player. Trust your body, trust your mind, trust the court. There we go. Well, obviously the next step for me is LSU basketball. That's where I'll be playing at in the next couple months. You know, I'm going up there for the summer classes. I'll be there going there June 9th. 
And right now what I'm really doing is just training, working hard to get ready, get prepared. My goals, you know, are very high. I feel like the sky's the limit for me. What I'm shooting for, you know, in my career is past the stars. Like I'm, I'm trying to, you know, one day be able to wake up and say, I'm the best player in the NBA. I'm considered as one of the best players in the NBA. I look at it like, why not me? You know, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, all those dudes who are considered, you know, the best players in the NBA now, when they were in high school, they were no different than me. You know, they they were ranked, you know, they made the McDonald's game, they made the Jordan game. Some wasn't, you know, Westbrook wasn't ranked, Paul George wasn't ranked, all those guys wasn't ranked, but they just worked their tail off. I feel like I work as hard, or maybe even harder than, you know, some of those guys, so one day I want to be able to, you know, compete versus them, be better than them. Good job, very nice. Good, nice. That's it, touch. Touch. That's it, touch. Very good, again, touch. Go, touch. Take. touch. Go, you don't need to look. That's it, good. Go, go, go. On your toes, two more. Again, go. That's it, go, one more. That's it, aggressive. And time. Good job, very nice. Excellent. Where's your energy at? From zero, you ain't got none. Ten is the highest for you. So I like that. Yes, then we're good. This is a high altitude training. So what we're doing is we're mimicking the environment. The machine goes up to all the way to 21,000 feet. So what we're going to do is right now, we do it in a few phases. One is for recovery. Another one for building stamina and muscle stamina. See, right now, he's going to be exhausted. We're trying to put him around 5,000 feet, uh, maybe even seven, and I'm trying to train him at that level so be able to adapt. So we do a combination of Vertimax for explosive power, and we do high altitude training for muscle endurance and muscle stamina. Oh, that, that mass, that mass is tough. Definitely when you're doing a Vertimax, because you jump in and jump in when it's pulling you down, and then I played in Colorado before at USA Basketball. And I know how hard it is to breathe while you're up there playing, definitely. For, so that's, that's kind of how the mask is. You know, and you're working that hard, and then you short of breath as well. And then you got to, like, recover and be able to do the next thing, do the next thing. So that, that Very good. Cool. That's it. Control breathing. Okay, through the nose, breathe out. There we go. That's it. Very good. Good. You're doing a great job, okay? See, so right now, he's way, he's doing about 5,000 feet. And for that altitude, he's using about 20, almost 25% less oxygen of what he needs, which is average athlete not going to be able to do that. Average person would not be able to do that. And this is, should be only done by professionals or licensed and, and certified in the matter. You know, my senior year, it ended short. You know, we didn't get to win the state championship. We lost in the Elite Eight. And, you know, that really hurt me, you know what I'm saying? After the game, I didn't know what to do. I was crying. But, you know, life moves on, and, I'm, you know, I'm past that now. So every day, you know, I'm just working, 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 working. You know, I can't stop working. Two, a little higher. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Push, push, push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Finish up. Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, little five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Thank ten. You it. That's it. Keep breathing. That's it. Good. There we go. Perfect. Nice. You just went right back to normal. Yeah. See, that's the biggest thing I want for you. Put on extreme pressure for two, three minutes, and you go back to normal. Right. One thing my move really helped me with is my nutrition. Uh, you know, we sat down, and he, I told him some of the things I like to eat. And, you know, he just kept it real with me. He told me, you can't eat that. You can't eat this. And he gave me options, you know. And sometimes I have to eat. I don't like to eat. But, you know, I, I do it because I know it's going to make me better. It's going to make me strong. It's going to make me gain weight. Like, uh, he has me eating two potatoes a day. He wants me eating a lot of steak, you know, no fried food, no fast food and stuff like that. So it's all stuff I'm working on. Seven water bottles a day, four protein shakes a day, stuff like that that he has me doing, and it, which I'm committed to do because I see the results, so I'm committed to do it. Uh, it's a lot different because now I have to take time out to eat. You know, you can't just eat when you're hungry. He, he really just showed me, you can't just eat when you're hungry. You have to eat to make sure when you go into your workouts, you have enough energy, you know, to perform in the workout. And then when you have another workout, you, that's why you, you want to make sure you eat a lot and eat the right things. Well, this is just the first workout. 
Uh, I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna do another workout at Rollins, basketball workout with Iron. And after that, uh, probably go get some rest, get some food and stuff like that. And then later tonight, go hoop. The workout right now is gonna be a little different than the one from earlier because it's on the court for one. You know, for two, I'm already fatigued from the earlier workouts. So I'm gonna have to push myself even more. You know what I'm saying? My legs are kind of tight from all the stuff that we did. So it's gonna be good, but you know, that's like I'm saying, I push myself to my limits, past my limits. I'm trying to trying to be great. Shirt's still a little wet from earlier. Let's get the shirt up. I love basketball. Since we lost our last game, I took a week off, you know, just to get my mind right and to rest my body. After that week, you know, me and Iron, we got in the gym and just went at it, you know. Killed, he killed me, you know, told me I needed to be with him, you know, five times a week. So I work out with him five times a week. You know, on the other day, I just get shots up. And I work out with my mooth also five times a week. My only rest day is Sunday, and I still do yoga and shoot. That's my, that's my rest day. Honestly, I think I'm the hardest working high school basketball. Someone working harder than me, I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I really do. And if I see it, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go harder than that. If I see somebody working harder than me, I'm gonna go harder than that. I'm a competitor. Like I wanna be the hardest worker. I think I am the hardest worker. And I just don't say that to say that. You know what I'm saying? I put the work in. As you can see, I put the work in every day, even when I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I still go hard, even when I don't feel like. Even if I have a bad day. I still come to the gym. I still go to the weight room. You know, I still go to open run and hoop. You know, I always talk to uh, the coaches at LSU, Coach Jones and Coach DP. You know, some things you know they want me to work on is uh, my conditioning, my strength and conditioning. Uh, of course, handling the ball better, making better reads out of pick and roll, and that's you know all the things that I'm doing and I'm working on now this off season before I get there. So when I get there, I'll be fully ready and I'll be able to contribute fast in any kind of way the coach need me to. I think this off season has been a success so far just because to start off, I changed my way of thinking. The thinking of the game, thinking of work. You know, I feel like we had a good high school season. You know, we fell short of our ultimate goal and that was to win the state championship. We didn't do that. I don't I don't really like always talking about like the good things that happened in my career. You know what I'm saying? You know, through my senior campaign, a lot of stepping stones happened. Adversity, I hit adversity with the USA team. I got cut off the USA team. You know, I did make the Nike Hoop Summit, which, you know, 12 players made it in my class. I wasn't one of those who was chosen. The Nate the Smith Player of the Year Award, I didn't win that. I didn't win the Morgan Wooten Player of the Year Award. I didn't even make Nate Smith first team or second team. You know, I think I made the third team. So all that stuff is just fueled in my fire to make me work harder, you know. I'm not saying I should have made it or I shouldn't have made it, but I'm just saying that I didn't. So. You know what I'm saying, which is fine, but it's just gonna make me work harder. I made the McDonald's All-American game in the Joint Brand Classic. Uh, what I'm doing is grinding hard every day, uh, eating right, just preparing myself mentally to go into those games and dominate, be able to go to those games and show off my skills and still get better and compete at the same time. And I don't just say that just to say that, you know, I actually come in the gym every day and work hard. You know what I'm saying? I push myself to my limits, even when I'm having a bad day, even when I'm not feeling good, even if I'm feeling a little sick and my allergies messing with me, I still come to the gym and go as hard as I can go. You know, everybody everybody say they working, you know what I'm saying? Everybody probably is, I don't, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't think nobody doing what I'm doing. I ain't gonna never let nobody out with me, never. I'm gonna be the hardest worker in the country from now. When I get to college next year, it's gonna be the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna feel like I'm the hardest worker in college basketball. I love to hustle. I love to hustle. I love to grind. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get, when you see the results, and you start hitting, you, you get accolades. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know you work for it. You know. Like I'm not hyped up. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gave me nothing. Everything, all the little hype, everything around me, I earned it. Nobody ever never gave me nothing. Working out is my job. My mama don't tweet every morning when she get up and go to work. So why would I tweet every day when I go work out? You know what I'm saying? That's not what I'm gonna do. Cause working out is just like my job. You know what I'm saying? When people get up and go to work in the morning, they don't tweet, oh, I'm finna go to work. They don't do that. So that's why I don't tweet and I don't put on Instagram when I'm going to work out. Cause I, I treat this like my job. Me going off to college is a big step. 
but it's a big step in the right direction. Hardest thing for me is gonna be leaving my mom and my little brother here. You know, them the two people I stay with, people that's around me the most, you know what I'm saying? I love both of them dearly. But, uh, and I know it's gonna be hard for them to let me go. As you can see, the shoe game has got realer. You can look down there. Can't barely even walk in here with all kind of shoes. You know what I'm saying? I got some Adidas, my Adidas section over here. Favorite Adidas right here. These D Lillards right here, man. Yeah, they do just the D. These are tough. You know, up here is all my J's. I'm a Jade, I keep them high. You can get to go through, get to see the Jays. See the Jays. Get all the Jays. I ain't have enough room in my closet, so I had to make a little line out here. Some stuff. Uh, Pearl, shout out to Katie. You know, Katie made these for us, Aunt Pearl. Hopefully one day I can make shoes for one of my family members. I'm gonna make one for mom. Shout out to mom. I gotta make one for mom. Living with him is crazy. Like we argue and we fight just like normal brothers. Like it's nothing different. Just, like it's just like any other brother. First notice him start to come a real, real good basketball player when he quit football for basketball around like ninth grade when he was going to Carnal Mooney. He was getting real better and real better. Then he just kept getting better. And he went a very long way. I'm proud of him for that. Me, I'm kind of different. Like, I'm entourage free. When I go places, you don't see a whole bunch of people trying to tag along and be around me. You know, people who ain't been there, you know, through the thick and thin. You know, me, it's really all family. Everybody you see me with is my family. You know, even Coach Reese and Coach Jack, I consider them as family. Trust and loyalty, that makes you family right there. You know, and I trust both of them, and they both was loyal to me from day one. So if you're not family, you're really not gonna know what's even going on with Antonio. A lot of people tell you what you want to hear, and that's not always good for you, you know? Sometimes it is, I mean, it could be good to hear what you want to hear, but that ain't gonna make you no better. I mean, I don't hang out, I don't go to parties and all that junk all the time. You know, I'm a regular kid, so from here and there, you know, I might go hang out with some friends at the movies. I might step out to a party or something, you know, here and there once a month or whatever, but that's not what I do. You know, some people don't like me for that. Today's been a long day, you know, like every day, every other grinding day, you know, especially Saturdays, you know. Saturdays, I really, there's no school, so I got all day to put in work. So on Saturday nights, you know, most of the time I try to come get an open run in just to, so I can try some of the moves that I worked on and see how more explosive I'm getting instead of going to a, a party or something, I'd rather be in the gym just hooping. That's what we finna go do to end it with great. Finna just go hoop. Get it in. Been a long day. My last thing of the day, it's 8.30. We gonna hoop the box. 9.30, 9.45. Get up out of here. Get some work. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good. I just wanted to thank you. Thank you for your videos. You've oh. influenced a lot of kids in a positive way. Oh, it's thank outstanding. You. My son loves him. We watch him all the time. Thank you, sir. Keep I appreciate it. Up, it. Keep thank it up. You. Good thank luck. You. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's that's honestly one reason, you know, I keep doing the videos because it does inspire a lot of kids and stuff like that. So I gotta keep doing them. Sun up this sun and ride. Here we go. Is that good? No problem.
the main reason I committed for, to LSU was the plan that Coach Jones and Coach DP, you know, the, all the coaching staff have for the program. You know, it's an up and coming school. That coaching staff has been there for three years, and every year they've gotten better. You know, this year they in the NCAA tournament. They beat Arkansas. They beat West Virginia. They almost beat Kentucky. You know, I, they can play with pretty much anybody. So, you know, I just feel like me and Ben, you know, whoever else we get to come in, Craig Victor, will be able to go in and help take, you know, the team over the, that next that next step that you know coach want to get to. What I'm shooting for is past the stars. You know, I want to be able to wake up one day and be considered one of the best players in the NBA. And I know, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take work. It's going to take consistency. It's going to take, you know, everything, that full, that full thing. But I'm willing to do it. You know, I'm willing to do what it takes to become great. I feel like, why not me? Why can't I be the next great thing, you know, in my class? I mean, I work hard enough, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got the skills and stuff like that. Like, don't let, don't never let nobody tell you what you can or cannot do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna have their own opinion on you, their own opinion about you. But the only opinion that really should matter is yours. You know how you feel about yourself, how good you think you is mentally. You know that's how that's the only opinion that matters. I feel like I'm the best player in the country. Simple as that. It ain't no if fans or buts about it. In my mind, you know every time I step on the court, I'm a, I feel like I'm the best player. But the biggest goal that I have in life is to be the best Antonio Blakeney that I can be. In basketball, off the court, as a person, whatever, I just want to be the best Antonio Blakeney I can be. Simple as that, you know, when I go into the gym, I, I shoot as much shots I can shoot, I make the most shots that I can shoot. I'm not trying to be like no other player. You know, I wanted to be one day and people be like, I want to be like Antonio Blakeney. So me right now, I'm not going around saying I'm like Westbrook, I play like Westbrook, or I want to be the next Westbrook, or James Harden, or anybody. You know, I just want to be the best Antonio Blakeney. I can be, and whatever that is, I'll be fine with that. But right now, I don't know what that is. That's why I'm just working. Keep working, work hard every day, and you never know. The sky, like I said, you know, the sky's the limit for me. I feel like the sky's the limit for me, and every day I'm just getting better. Every day I'm working hard to get better.